Hello, my name is J.P. Hong, plastic surgeon from Asan Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. Today we'd like to share our experience in using monopolar cautery in dissecting perforators. A typical setting with a monopolar bowie is made to about 40 to 50 on blend for cutting and 25 to 30 with pinpoint mode for coagulation. A needle point bowie has to be used, typically a Colorado, to allow fine dissection. Here we're using the monopolar bowie and the Colorado to dissect the perforators in the subcutaneous pathway. Now with the cutting mode with high power, it really allows to not only cut the tissue but also coagulate the mini branches coming out from the perforator, especially in the subcutaneous portion where you see multiple small branches originating from the perforator, the cutting mode at this high power allows a good coagulation. Now note that we're dissecting within this fat layer and around the perforator piercing through the deep fascia. Now as you can see, traction is of most importance. The traction allows you to visualize the perforator while using this monopolar bowie on cutting mode. Now as you can see closely, we're not actually right next to the perforators. We're fairly close, but there is a good perivascular structure and that's the target where the monopolar actually hits while dissecting the perforator. This perivascular structure is more evident in the perforators within the intramuscular portion. Now you can see that we're actually near the second perforator and we're fairly close, but again, the target is that perivascular structure surrounding the perforator. Now, once you've identified the perforator, you split through the deep fascia. Now, one thing great about using this monopolar cutting mode is that you don't have to transition back and forth with a bipolar and a monopolar. And you don't have to go and grab your scissors, so this really saves a lot of time. Note the twitching of the muscle now as we enter the intramuscular portion of the perforator and dissecting. Look how important the traction is. The traction makes the muscle twitch minimal. Even though it's twitching, because of the traction, you could relatively have a very stable muscle and see that perivascular plane within the muscle surrounding the perforator and able to hit that target to dissect while also coagulating the branches coming out from these perforator as you can see in the video here. Now the dissection heads toward the source vessel, in this case the descending uh, branch. And as you can see, we're not actually cutting through the muscle, but rather we're splitting along the muscle fibers, preserving maximal function. And by splitting the muscle, this really allows minimal bleeding compared to when you're cutting through the muscle, which has multiple branches within the muscle, adding to a more bloody field. Now once you split enough, we want to pass the flap within that split portion to allow better visualization as you reach the source vessel, as you can see here. Now we've reached the source vessel, which is the descending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery. And now we're making the pocket large enough for the flap to pass through that splitted muscle. Now sometimes it's inevitable that you come across a nerve or a muscle that you have to cut but most of the times we try to have this horizontal dissection using a monopolar bobie and allow and to preserve the maximal function. Now the flap is passed through that splitted muscle portion and you could see clearly the pulsation of the perforator entering through the muscle and entering into the descending branch. So this is, has been our experience using the monopolar bobie. It really allows efficiency and allows better vision. But of course, bipolar is needed to coagulate large vessels as well. Thank you for your attention.